beautiful. And once we have the store in place, now let's set up the slice. And I fully understand that this name is totally funky. You're like, what slice are you talking about? And I want you to think of slice as the feature of your application. So if we take a look at the complete project, you'll notice that, yes, we have the card functionality, but we also have the modal. And you can think of it as two features of our application. So we have one feature for the modal, and the second one is going to be for our card. And of course, the bigger our application, the more features we're going to have. And in the Redux toolkit land, it is called Slice. Now, in order to set up Slice, a common convention is to set up features folder, but of course, naming is always up to you. Then whatever is going to be the name of the feature. So in my case, it's going to be card. That's why I'll set up a card folder. And then we want to set up a file again, like I keep mentioning the naming is up to you. But again, typically, you'll go with whatever feature and then slice JS. Now in there, you will want to get create slice and don't worry about this one that create async thunk. As I say not, I'll remove it. We'll worry about that later. And then we want to invoke that function, create slice, we want to give it a name. Again, it's totally up to you. But in my case, I'm going to go with card. And then we have initial state property, where we just set up whatever state we want. In my case, I'll set it up as a separate object. And in here, I'm going to go with cart items, with an amount. So how many items I have in a cart? What is the cart total? Both of them zero. And then is loading true? Because eventually we will load this from the API. Then I'll log the sucker, the cart slice. And in there, we'll have the reducer. And of course, I'll talk about this one a little bit later once we get there. And eventually, what we want to do is in the store, we want to import cart reducer. So that's going to be the function that controls this state in our slice. So think of our application, we'll just split up the functionality, where this slice is just responsible for the cart. And this reducer specifically is going to modify it, whatever functionality we set up. And then in that reducer that we set up in the last video, notice there's a complaint that there's no valid reducer. Now we want to set up a key. Now key name is really up to you, just like everything else. And I know that you're probably sick of hearing this, but I just want to make this clear, where this is totally up to you, you can call this banana pudding, if you want. Just remember that later, once we start setting up our functionality, yes, of course, we'll have to access this name. So therefore, I'm going to go with cart, and I want to set it equal to reducer. So the function that we'll have access to, and a function that will allow us to control this piece of state for this specific functionality. Hopefully, this is clear. So now, let's go to source, we want to create a new folder, like I said, common convention, we'll call this features. So features our application, in our case, cart and modal, then let's create another folder. And we're going to go here with cart, then inside of the cart, let's go with new file. And we're going to go with cart slice JS. So once we're here, we want to import, we want to import and we'll say, create and slice. Now, for some reason, it does not. Oh, yep, yeah, it does. So I have the suggestion. And let's right away invoke it. And I'm going to call this const cart and slice. And that is equal to create slice. It's a function we pass in the object. And here we can set up a bunch of properties. So first, we want to set up the name. So I'm going to go here with cart, then we want to go with that initial state. And this is the case, since I have more properties, we might as well set it up as a separate object. So let's set up here initial state. And then we'll add card items, which initially is going to be empty array, but then we'll take a look at multiple approaches the local data, and then the data coming from the API. I also want to go with amount. So how many items I have in the cart and please be aware that I'm not just talking about the products I have in my cart. I'm actually looking for the item count. So how many items of that specific product I have. And this is going to be that amount, hopefully that is clear. Then we want to go with total. So total money, both of them zero, initially, and then is loading, 
because eventually we'll pull this from the API. So that's going to be our initial state. Once we save, notice right away, initial state in here references the initial property. And then we want to log this sucker and we want to quickly import in the store.js. Now, in a second, we'll do more proper setup. I just want to showcase what we have in the cart slice. So let me save it. Then I'll navigate back to the store. And for time being, let's just import the entire file. Like I said, more proper setup is coming. Let's just go here with the features, then cart, and then cart slice. And once we import, of course, we right away invoke the file. And here we'll see that console log. So we'll have some actions here, something that we'll discuss a little bit later once we set up some reducers. We have case reducers, again, something we don't need to worry about right now. Get initial state, again, a function that gets the state name. And then notice all the way in the bottom, we have that reducer. So this reducer is the one that is going to control that state in this slice. And that's why we want to export that. We want to export this. And in the store, we want to come up with a key and set it equal to that reducer. So let's try this out. I'm going to go with cart, then instead of just getting the file, I'll actually look for that reducer, but I'll set it up as a default one. So for time being, I'll comment this one out, we'll come back to this one, because again, we'll talk about these actions eventually. And now I just want to export that reducer. Now there's million ways how we can export us. In this case, I'm going to go export default, and then cart slice dot reducer. Again, this is an object, and this is a property. So let's export this. Then in the store, we want to import. So I'm going to go with cart, not slice, but reducer. Again, if you want to name this differently, of course you can. And then we're going with from. And now we'll go with cart equals to cart reducer. And we shouldn't see any error messages anymore, because now we have the proper setup. So now we can take a look how we can access the data first from that initial state. And then of course, eventually, we'll also take a look at how we can set up functionality to control this. But our first step is going to be accessing this data.